50 billion dollars in state budget bills are now on the governor's desk awaiting his approval. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon asked Senate leadership about the budget after it passed. This year's state budget comes in around $50 billion. And although a lot of the governor's priorities made it in, members of his own party voted against it today because of the large price tag. All of the budget bills passed both chambers with less than an hour to spare. The governor's priorities, like highway expansion, made it into the final version. But not everyone was happy with it. Here's what some of the Republicans uh, in the chamber voted against today when they voted against some of those budget bills, raising teacher pay and making record investment in our classroom, putting record dollars in our colleges and universities to prepare the workforce of the future, funding Missouri's mental health system and programs for most vulnerable seniors. A large point of conflict was how much to spend on highway expansion. The final total was $2.8 billion to expand I-70 all the way across the state. So I-70 is probably one of, or it is one of, the more shovel-ready uh, projects in the state. This is probably a six, maybe seven-year-long project. Uh, so I, maybe I should apologize up front for the traffic, <laughs> but I think the end result is going to be something that, quite frankly, generationally will transform that artery across the state. Appropriations Chair Senator Lincoln Huff says that progress could be seen on I-70 as soon as this fall or winter. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. The budget is not finalized until the governor signs it. He still has the power to veto anything in it.